Jorana and welcome to the beautiful island of Vanuatu. I am Sydney here and uh, with me I have uh, Teriki Patai and uh, hello Teriki. Jorana. Jorana. Okay, um, we are here for um, conference, youth conference, Pacific uh, Organic Warriors. And what I'm about to do now, I'm about to show you how to plant taro. And um, here with me, this is the taro here. Okay. So before you start planting taro, you will need to prepare um, coconut leaves, um, cardboard, and obviously where you want to plant. So before you plant, you, you need to clean your area where you want to plant. And uh, around here, I already cleaned this place. And uh, and you need to, yeah, take the soil and make it, put it on the bed. So I'll show you how to start with this. <laughs> and you know, in the uh, Pacific Islands, we got different kind of uh, soil, eh? And uh, where I'm from, in the Cook Island, we like to plant this crop in the muddy, in the, in the swamp, because um, this plant needs water. This plant really loves water. So yeah, in dry in dry areas, you need to put it up on the bed and and cover it with uh, eco leaves and keep it moist, keep the soil moist. And um, one thing I didn't tell you is uh, about the. Uh, the weeds, the weeds is very important for this for this uh, crop taro. Before uh, where we where we're from, when we weed, we save the weeds. So some places like I can see here, it's low away. So we can dig dig a little hole. Oh, sorry, this way. And the weed you just pulled from where you want to plant, you can put it back. And this is good because we're talking about organic here. And this is good to go back down in the ground and you will help the taro in the future. So we keep covering like this. And you keep going. So So now, this is when this comes in. This helps the plant, or oh, this helps the plant here. Yeah. Um, in the future, when you put this on, it helps the, the growth of the weeds slow down. It will slow it down. It will help you chill out more at home <laughs> than in the garden. So, you know, this, you know, the, the cardboard, before you put it on, I recommend you to, to put it in water, soak it in water, or where I'm from, we, there's a big pile of uh, cardboard, and we just put it in the rain, and just, it will get soft. So when you use that, it will easy to pen penetrate through the, the cardboard so you just lay it down and make it like you're making your own bed and with the help of this it does the same thing eh? so what my brother told me how you put this on put this there you know this part 
See this one? I put it like that, eh? The second one, the other side, though, eh? So the benefit of that, if you keep putting the kiko like this, or the coconut leaves like this, you know, it's gonna be, this part will be high and then the other side will be low. So you gotta, you know, you gotta balance it, eh? You know what I mean? So you just turn it around the other side and put it like that. And <coughs> you can use the sticks. So the sticks, it's you poke it on the side, eh? I'll show you why. Poke it on the side of the bed. This side, just along the side of the bed, eh? Reason being, you can add some more kiko, and that's why the stick is all there. So this, because when you plant taro, there's gonna be um, what you call a uh, water, water like a small river along the the beds, eh? So when you don't, if you don't put this on the side. Your kiko will, everything will fall apart and it's useless. So yeah, you do it all around. Don't forget, back to front. So, now, it's the time to plant. Before you plant, just cut the front. So you can just cut it like this. Watch your hand. And on there. This one. Okay. For the when you plant this, you have to, to use this tool. We call it a pot. I don't know what you call this in uh, Vanuatu. I think it's a core. So, this is how you plant it. Poke it around and around, and then another hole around there. Okay, one more thing I forgot. You know, in dry, in dry areas, because you need water, eh? you need temp. So, when you, when you poke this down, you know how the, the soil is dry when you put this down when you bring it back up the soil is going to fall down eh so you need water you can just pour it down and Dams up the water, uh, the soil, and then it's good for you to plant. Don't fall down. Don't fall down. So you just put that down. Next one, and next one. Don't worry about your hand getting dirty. And um, the distance between the plants is uh, when you do this. Oh, this is how I know I'll do it. When you stand up, you put this in the front and then you put it in the middle. Way. You stand up parallel and then you just move another one and move it. That's it, that's your mark. You don't need a measuring tape to come in, uh, you know, be precise about your 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 taro distance. So this is it. I hope you enjoy it. And uh, let's go organic, live free. And uh, thank you very much.